Here's another important video from the Personal Defense Network. All right, Daryl, here we are in our uh, dry fire training area. I'm going to put the target up. Why don't you go ahead and, and load your shells into your uh, side saddle? Cool. And what I'm going to be doing here is coaching Daryl through a little bit of dry fire with a shotgun. We're going to be working on several exercises, presenting from the low ready, chambering around and presenting from the low ready, and doing a little bit of reloading as well. So there you go. All right, Daryl, what we're going to do is I want you to start in the ready position. When I give you the up command, you're going to bring the shotgun up and fire a shot. I want you to follow through on the target and make sure that you don't have any dip as if you're pushing the shotgun and being afraid of the recoil. Also, I want you to make sure that you're very consistent with your cheek weld onto the stock of the shotgun and uh, that you keep it the same each time that you do the presentation. Okay. Okay? Okay. Up. All right. Come back down. I'll recock it. Let's do that again. Up. And recock it. All right, now this time when you come up, I want you to break the shot, and I want you to immediately work the action as if you were going to have to fire a second shot. Cool. Okay? Up. Good. Good. All right, now what I'd like you to do is to press the trigger so that the action is uncocked. Now sometimes people will be uncomfortable with having the chamber of the shotgun loaded if they were moving through their house. So what we're going to do is we're going to simulate as if the shotgun had an empty chamber, a loaded magazine tube, and the safety was off and the shotgun was not cocked. So what we can do in that case is if we needed to engage a target, simply bring the shotgun up, load it as we are bringing it up, and then break the shot as the sights come into view. And keep in mind about your consistent sleeve cheek weld there. Okay, come to your ready position. Up. Good. All right, let's try that again. Up. Good. Really good. And I noticed that you don't have any movement in it. You're not anticipating the recoil, so that's excellent. Let's work on a, a little reloading drill now. Okay. And what I'm going to have you do, Daryl, is after you break your shot, you're going to, at that point, you're going to take one round out of your side saddle, put it over the top into the chamber, okay. and then close it and then break a shot with that round. Okay. And remember your consistency of the cheek weld, very important. Ready? Up. Excellent. All right, let me have that round. And this time we'll do the same thing again. And you're going to load with one round into the chamber over the top. And then I want you to keep it up the shoulder and put one round into the magazine tube underneath okay. and you're going to be working both of those from the side saddle. Cool. Ready? Up. Excellent. Excellent. So we've done a little bit of dry fire practice with the shotgun. We've presented it from the low ready as if it was loaded. We presented it from the low ready as if the chamber was not loaded, but the magazine tube were, as if we were perhaps moving through the house with it. We've done a little bit of reloading practice, both with one round and two rounds. Daryl was very conscientious about making sure that he maintained a good cheek weld, because that's very important with a shotgun, especially one that has a bead. If you don't maintain a good cheek weld, it will uh, definitely throw the point of impact. And uh, also, Daryl was very good, except when I told him not to at maintaining the uh, shotgun in a state of readiness by working the action every time. Now that we've finished with that, we're going to take our target down and take a little break. Check out more videos just like this one at the Personal Defense Network.